Psycho Viewmaster, a leader in children's entertainment, presents a video episode of that all-time favorite children's TV show, Captain Kangaroo. Nothing to do. Right. Hey, you won't believe how many things there are to do. You could go skating in the park, go to the playground, go to an ice cream factory, watch a, a, a dog sled race, go up in a balloon, fly a kite, see a jumping frog competition. Wee, all... wee, wee. You mean we could do all these things today? That's exactly what I mean. In fact, today we're going to do all that and more. And this is definitely not a bored, nothing to do day. It's a get out and get going day. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready! You ready? He's ready! Okay. Where are we going first? How about a visit to the playground? Sounds good to me! Hey now, run around. We're going to play at the playground. Say now, come on down. Funny to do at the playground. I'm going to tell you about a place I know. So much fun you simply have to go. Lots of happiness and lots of friends. We'll show you all around. Everybody has a game to play, everybody has a word to say, everybody's feeling fine today at the playground. Hey now, run around, we're going to play at the playground. Say now, come on down, plenty to do at the playground. You might be climbing on the monkey bars, racing to the top, sliding on the slippery slide, and landing with a flop. Playing the tag, you zigging and zag, you hope it never stops, and then you think that you're gonna stay around playing at the playground. Now, I'm not kidding when I say to you, if you wanna have a laugh or two, there's no better place in all the world when you're talking pound for pound. So wrap up your worries and stack up your woes, pack up your troubles and relax your toes, scroll on over where the happiness grows at the playground. Hey, now, run around. Come on down, plenty to do at the playground. Yes, sir, run around. We're going to play at the playground. Okay, playgrounds are fun, and now we're next. Well, you know, I know a family, and they have their very own hot air balloon. Their very own balloon? That's right, and sometimes they even enter it in hot air balloon races. Ah, oh, this I gotta see. This you're going to see. Well, let's see. Our balloon is as high as a 10-story building. Yeah, I'll grab the red one, you grab the maneuvering tent line. Ballooning is a sport that the whole family has to participate in because it takes at least four or five people to just inflate the balloon. You get the balloon started by an um, inflator fan. The fan blows cold air into the balloon. To get it to fly, you need hot air. The hot air comes from a special burner. Controlling the amount of heat is controlling the way, how fast the balloon rises. Number nine. Every year, the people that like ballooning come to Ravenna, Ohio. Ravenna is famous for ballooning. There are more than 50 balloons going to compete. It's a hare and hound race. The hare is the balloon that goes in front. The balloons that follow them and try to catch them are the hound balloons. My job as a navigator is to tell my dad if the hare balloon is um, climbing or dropping. I 
think the best part of ballooning is just when you take off, the balloon gives you a very steady ride. You can't steer a balloon, you can only go up and down. And you just go with the wind. That makes it a little bit of an adventure. The wind's different at different altitudes, so you have to know like which altitude to go to to get the right winds. Okay, let's drop a little bit. Okay, Matt, let me give you the bean bag so when we come over that field, you can throw it at the target. Each balloon carries a bean bag in the beginning of the race. And the one that lands closest or drops a baggie closest to the hair balloon wins the race. Matt! All right! All right! Lots of kids might have bikes and toys and stuff, but not a lot of kids have balloons. Say, fun. You know the place that the captain likes to go best? Oh, sure you do. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's a place where there's water and a motorboat and a very big pussycat. Do you know now? Yeah! When we're together anywhere, I can't understand why people stare. Why should they be surprised to see my pussycat and me. Is it because we're unusual types or because only one of us has stripes? I guess that it's also true of us that we have one tail between the two of us. Why do people stay so far away whenever we two are afloat? What I mean is, haven't they ever seen whiskers on the captain of a boat? When they ask me, does he bite? I say he has some relatives who might. A tiger in the zoo might not be friends with you, like my pussycat is with me. He weighs 500 pounds or so. That scares a lot of folks, I know. But I'm not scared. We're pals, you see. My pussycat and me. Folks are surprised at those big yellow eyes, his beautiful fur, his enormous size. You're big enough for three, they say when they see my pussycat and me. Strolling along free from care, you'll never meet a friendlier pair. Most any morning you might see my pussycat Pussycat and me. Meow. I know that was no pussycat. I know that. You know that. But if the captain wants to think that a Bengal tiger is a pussycat, well, then who are we to argue with him? Oh, but listen, when the captain comes back, ask him what the tiger's name is and wait till you hear the answer. <laughs> Something no, funny? Hold up. Uh, no, no, Something no, funny? No, 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 no. Uh, buddy just wanted to ask you a question. Oh, all right. You want to ask me a question? Oh, I remember because you asked it the last time. That's the, the one. The last time that you saw saw me and my pussycat. Right, yes. Right. You asked me what my pussycat's name was. Right. Why, uh, why do you want to know, Look, Bob? Why don't you just tell him stop asking questions? What was the tiger's name? Let's see. What was that tiger's name? Uh, oh, Abyssinia. 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 Yeah. After the ping pong ball. No. Yeah. 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 No. 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 Satisfied? You know what that reminded me of, Captain? No. Oh, uh, what did it remind you of? It reminded me of. Niagara Falls! Say, strange you should say that. You know why? Why? Because that's the next place we're going to visit. The Man of the Mist does something very exciting. It goes right into Niagara Falls. It's a very spectacular ride. People come from all over the world to see Niagara Falls. A lot of them ride on my father's boat. The reason they wear raincoats is because they get very wet. The whole ride lasts a half an hour. The Niagara River separates the U.S. from Canada. 
One part of the falls is on the Canadian side, and one part is on the American side. Niagara Falls has the biggest falls in the world. On the Canadian side, the falls is in the shape of a horseshoe. The tricky part is sailing under the horseshoe falls. Sometimes the boat comes in within 50 feet of the base of the falls. The water that flows over the falls has the power of more than six million horses. It comes crashing down with a terrific roar. It kicks up a lot of waves. The mist is so heavy that you can barely see sometimes. You have to be very careful when you steer the boat. You have to know the river very well. But my father knows how to steer the boat just right. It looks dangerous, but it's really not. I really think it's the most exciting trip you can take. Well, what'd you think, Mr. Moose? Oh, boy, that really looks like fun, Captain. You know where I'd like to go? No, where would you like to go? To the amusement park. Oh. Yeah, you know who went there today? Who? Dancing Bear. No. Oh, yeah, he loves those rides. Oh. Can we go? Can we go? Sure, we please, sure, Captain, okay. Please. Say let's yes. let's, say let's yes. go to the amusement park. Say yes. You didn't say yes. Yes. Good. I haven't got a worry in the world when I'm riding. I haven't got a worry in the world when I'm riding. Just moving from place to place Someday I'll ride to outer space Riding, riding Riding, just riding Whether it's fast or whether it's slow Just as long as I can go Riding, 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 just riding. It may be bumpy or it may glide. Something exciting about a ride. Riding, 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 just riding. Than I ever ran I finished back where I began Riding, riding Riding, just riding Dancing Bear certainly looked like yeah. he was having fun yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other places you like to see? Well, yeah, yeah, there is a place I'd like to visit it's a place where they make my favorite thing in the whole wide world. A ping pong ball factory. What makes you say that? No, no, an ice cream factory. Oh, well, I know a little girl who's so lucky that her grandfather has his very own ice cream factory. Would you like to see it? Well, I'd rather go there myself, but second best, let's see it. Ice cream starts with milk. Before it is made into ice cream, the milk must be checked to make sure there are no germs. Ice cream mixture is chilled, and then it could be poured into molds. Sticks go in. Then it's dipped into a coating. That's how pops are made. And Father's machines also make ice cream sandwiches. cups and pints. All kinds of tasty packages. Sometimes special ingredients make the ice cream taste better. Chocolate, nuts, raisins. 
delicious ice cream pours out by the gallon. When it is all finished, the ice cream goes into the ice box until it is ready to go to the stores. When my sister and I raid the ice box, it's so big you could walk right in. It's like being in Alaska. Grandfather sells a lot of ice cream to stores, but he says his best customers are his own grandchildren. You know what was really funny? When the captain thought he was going to be an ice cream salesman, but they put him to work and made him do everything. What a day that was. Yes, sir. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. It's amazing how much work I've done since the day began. I'll never get it finished, but I'll do the best I can. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. My free time is rare, but I can always spare a little time to share with a friend. I can always spare a minute, perhaps two or three, and I find that these moments mean a great deal to me. But I'm a very busy fellow, as I told you all before. I've been working from the moment I first came through the door. No matter what I finish, somehow there's always more. I'm a very busy fellow, as I told you all before. Yes, I do as much as I possibly can. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. Boy, I bet the captain was really exhausted after that day. <laughs> what, uh, what, what are you laughing about? What, what are you laughing about? <laughs> Come on, what are you laughing about? Well, you know about the time you had to sell ice cream and clean up the whole place, and then you ran around and sell some more, and then you clean up some more. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Just another another day's work. Oh, don't tell me that, Captain. You worked like a dog that day. Ruff! You're right, you're right. Like a sled dog. Oh, and I suppose that we're going to see a sled dog now, Captain. Boy, are, right? you, are you perceptive? Well, not exactly. Really? A, yes, not exactly. A I sled went to dog. the dentist. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we're going to see a whole team of sled dogs. Actually, two whole teams. Dog swimming isn't something that you do every day, but when you do do it, it's a lot of fun. Today, my friend Tyson and I are going to go through the mountains in a Rocky Mountain blizzard. Dogs that pull a sled are called huskies. They're not huge dogs, but when you hang on to them, you know how strong they are. The dog drivers' names are Ben and Bob. Bob said it was important that the dogs learn how to get along together. If there's a dog who likes to fight, he can't work on a dog team. All the dogs in our team are friends. They love the cold weather. When they know they're going to pull a sled, they get very excited. The excitement of the dogs can make you excited, too. I made a bet with Tyson. I bet my team is going to finish before his team. Finally, the trip was over. We thank the dogs for giving us a great ride. P.S. My sled won. Well, what did you think of that contest, uh, huh? That was, that was great. That was great. But I bet I know of a contest that's even 
More fun. More fun than a sled dog race? More fun than a sled dog race. And what would that be? That would be a jumping frog contest. This one I've got to see. wet and you jump for a living you're probably a frog like me and you sort of look forward to the kind of competition i think you're about to see so gather around everyone the fun is just beginning it's the jokes and the croaks and the friendly folks that i like just as much as winning green and you jump for a living as any frog is bound to say you sort of look forward to returning to the water at the end of a long hot day so next time round count me in like i said at the beginning it's the jokes and the croaks and the friendly folks it's the thrill and the chill and the yes i will it's the way that you play I always say That I like just as much as winning What are you, what are you two doing? Excuse me, what, what are you doing? Oh, well, Buddy's hopping Just like those jumping frogs And you, yeah. what are you doing? Can't you guess? Da, do, you really do, want do, me to? Sure, sure. Then what am I doing? Well, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were skating. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, I say right. if you're gonna if you're gonna be skating, you ought to be outside skating in the park. Good idea. Let's go. Playing in the park is really great. I love it because there's lots of room to skate, and I've nothing to fear. I am happy here. Skating all day in the park The wheels are spinning underneath my feet The noise they make is positively neat Won't you skate with me? It's such fun to be Skating all day in the park Slowly, slowly, here I go And as I skate, I seem to grow Faster than the speed of sound I'm very nearly off the ground And now I wish this happy ride would never end I love to go out skating with a friend Who can share the fun as we fly to the sun Whirling away in the I'd like to stay in the Skating all day in the park What have you got there, bud? Oh, got some bugs in there. What kind of bugs? Oh, I know what they are. They're crickets. Oh, they're fascinating. Say, I know. You, you, you're going to take these to the bug club, huh? Yeah. What's a bug club? Insects don't bother me any. I like them. I work as a volunteer at the San Francisco Zoo. I work in the insect zoo, which is a part of the children's zoo. The part I like best is handling the insects. Some people think these animals are scary, but I don't. No, do you like them? I don't know. <laughs> How do you like them? I hate them. <laughs> well, what about you? You don't like, you want to touch them? The zoo has a volunteer program where kids and adults and anybody else who wants to can work with the animal. I chose the insect zoo because I happen to like insects. I work every other Sunday taking care of them, feeding them, making sure they're all right, healthy. They make noises. Yes. Yeah, they do. They go chirp. So I think kids can learn better from other kids. These are crickets. In China, they'll catch crickets, male crickets, because males are the ones that chirp. They put it in a small wicker cage, and at nighttime, the cricket lets out long chirps, and they go to sleep considering the music. So, would any of you like to have a pet cricket? Yes. Yes. Okay, anything else you'd like to see here? Yes. Tarantula. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tarantula show, five minutes at the Insect Zoo. Thank you. This is Betty. She's a Mexican red-legged tarantula. She's a spider, but she's very big. Now anybody know how many legs she has? Without counting. Eight. Right, she has eight legs. The two mouth parts, they're chalice array, are the two parts right there. She's got small claws and she holds on to the cloth. Okay. All right. You can see the fangs. See orange is the mouth and the black fangs. Take a real close look. See, that's her mouth looks. She really wouldn't hurt you unless you were to aggravate her. All spiders are venomous because they have to hunt, so they need the venom to stop their prey. Her venom is made for an animal smaller than she is, so it wouldn't hurt us much. Might give us a small rash, a lump like a mosquito bite. She's friendly. I know about 800 times more about insects than when I first started. They come in all sizes, shapes, colors. Some live in the air, some live on the land, some live on the water. There's an amazing variety of different kinds of insects because insects make up three-fourths of the total animal population of the Earth. They've been around longer, are more of them, so it might be wise to know about them. Well, I hope you enjoyed our fun today. And I hope that you'll look for more Captain Kangaroo adventures. There are so many. Yeah, lots of things to do. Animals and stories to read and places to go. All sorts of wonderful adventures. You know, I'm kind of glad that Mr. Moose isn't here right now because I just couldn't stand one more ping pong ball. How about a hundred? No, no! Oh, what a place! I love you all. You too. And you too. And me too. Now you can collect six different Captain Kangaroo tapes for your own video library. All of these entertaining live action episodes feature scenes from the Captain's favorite TV shows. Hours of fun and learning can be yours with Animal Alphabet. This sea lion, without half trying, can handle his frisbees and keep them flying. E is for eagle, an elephant too, a kidna, an ermine, an elk. Kids like you. My name is Matt Wolfgang. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Pennsburg, Pennsylvania. My name is Stacy Geary. I'm 11 years old. My name is Travis Dylan Orles. My name is Tony Hernandez. I'm an acrobat. Going places. Yeah, sir. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. It's amazing how much work I've done since the day began. I'll never get it finished, but I'll do the best I can. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. Counting with the captain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Favorite stories. I can take books from my bookshelf and I can learn about the circus. I can have fun. I can be sad. I can learn about other people 
who live in places far, far from where I live. Books are wonderful. I'm going to prove it to you now by reading you some very nifty stories that'll take you to all sorts of places. So join me and relax while I read you some wonderful, wonderful stories. This is a nice one called Barkley. Barkley had a job in the circus. He did tricks with four other dogs. Fun with baby animals. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bunny and I are planning something really big for the captain. Now, meanwhile, why don't you watch our friend Priscilla the baby gorilla? Priscilla is a very small gorilla. She is busy trying hard to figure out what this old world is about. Priscilla is very shy for a gorilla. And you sometimes have to coax her out to play when she'd rather Kangaroo's best tapes. Get them at your favorite store, wherever video is sold.